it was official. And finally, it has become true. This logo has returned. This insignia for the first 13 years of our Mighty Ducks and High Ducks existence has been restored. You've seen the rebrand. You know and accept it, as I did, with the modern look of how it was not only updated, but it was renewed, refreshed, re revitalized, and I'm not gonna lie, like the original Mighty Ducks logo, it stood out. The unique design giving life, awakening the soul of our Anaheim Ducks by giving the orange eye in the Ducks mask. Creating, you can say, a tribute homage to the OG Mighty Ducks logo was something that really stood out for me. But what really stood out for me is more than just the new logo, or should I say, the retro look, but the new Anaheim Ducks hockey sweaters that will be worn by our team for the 31st season in 24-25. Both home and road jerseys. Both have that distinctive uniqueness to them. It's tribute homage to not just the past, the present, and the future, but the all of Orange County, California itself. What it does what it really did in calling orange country was acknowledging all Ducks fans, the fan base locally, and not just the city of Anaheim, but all the Orange County, California communities like Irvine, Orange, Yorba Linda, Laguna Beach, Laguna Nagal, San Clemente, Tuscan, Mission Viejo, Bray, and so on. What we are seeing is not just more than just a rebrand, but a reinvigoration of our Anaheim Ducks, from the logo to the sweaters, that will be worn tomorrow at this year's NHL entry draft by the next generation of players who will wear the Anaheim Ducks sweaters with honor, pride, dedication, and perseverance. It always makes me smile seeing that logo. This one right up there with the modern look to it. It really speaks volume to not only acknowledging Orange County, California's fan base of hockey, but the people themselves. Creating this sense of unity at the local level, I believe will provide a long-term benefit in growing Ducks hockey, strengthening the bonds of friendship and joy with the Anaheim Ducks and Ducks fans and all over in the Orange County, California communities. 
speaking of the orange country. Now that puts a smile on my face. I really believe that the Ducks have found a way that will define the Ducks fan base as a whole. Orange country has a nice ring to wear. Who knows? Some may like it, some may not like it, but hey, we can agree to disagree. But also, we should not forget the first three Ducks logos, primary ones, worn by the players who suited up for our hockey team, contributed in advance the Mighty Ducks and Hunt Ducks cause since day one. From the 1993 to 2006, our team wore the original OG Mighty Ducks logo with honor, pride, and dedication. Making the playoffs in 97, 99, advancing to the Stanley Cup final in 2003 with the original logo of the Ducks mask right there and winning the first ever Western Conference Championship. The final time our Ducks wore that logo was in 2006. That was when the word mark era began. From 2006 to 2014, our Ducks won the first ever Stanley Cup championship, cementing forever what it means to be a Ducks fan and what it means to advance the Ducks cause. And I know some of you do not like the Ducks word mark. Some do, some don't, but it's understandable. And by 2014, the third and final of the first three, the Ducks foot Many Pacific Division titles were won under Ducks foot. Why I mention those three accomplishments under those three logos is quite simple. Even though we're moving forward, embracing the future, we cannot forget the past. We cannot forget the three Mighty Ducks and Han Ducks logos that our team fought under suited up for and battled. Now, as this week is very important for all of us, let it sink in and let us embrace the modern look of the duck's mask. Just imagine it with an orange eye. It won't be long until the puck drop, the soul of the Anaheim Ducks awakened, and they will be unleashed upon the NHL.